Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. I'm here to show you a brand new wig by Envy that just released and this is called Wendy and it is in the color Dark Red. That focus couldn't have taken any longer, could it? Uh, in this video, we are going to look at Wendy and we're gonna learn all about this incredibly long, long wig. And I'm gonna show you this color inside and outside. So if you're curious about Wendy, stick around for the rest of this video. All right, Wendy is unbelievably long. Holy moly, you guys, this has got to take the record for the longest video I have, or longest wig I have ever reviewed. And I would like to start off by thanking Wig Studio One for sending Wendy to me to review for you guys today. Wig Studio One and I are partnering on about a video a month, and this is the latest one. If you aren't familiar with Wig Studio One, I encourage you to check them out. They have a website, wigstudioone.com. They have an unbelievably helpful Facebook group, which is called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, with thousands and thousands of women who are all supporting each other on the wig journey by answering questions, sharing pictures, sharing experience, and just building community. And I also want to encourage you to um, reach out to Wig Studio One if you have questions and need help. They have a great support uh, group. They have like customer service group that does such good work. You can email them at support at wigstudio1.com, but they also have a live chat option during business hours, so something definitely worth checking out. Thank you, Wig Studio One, for sending me Wendy. All right, guys, let's look at Wendy and let's talk all about her. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is a hard video to do because I have to stand so far away from my camera in order for you to see this whole wig and I'm not sure how that impacts the lighting or the volume so I apologize for that this is a challenge let's look at Wendy from all sides and so I started it off by having it all in the front so you can see that Make sure you can see the whole thing. It's really crazy. All right. I'm going to move closer to the camera just to make my life a little easier. Hopefully that's okay that you can't see the very bottom of this. But I do want to just say I do think that this wig qualifies as mermaid hair because it definitely goes below the you know what. So um, long, long, long wig. I do have some warnings for you though about this one so definitely pay attention to this whole video. Okay, color. I like to start off with color because you may only be here for color. So look in the description for the timestamps if you want to see when the outside look is for this and you can just skip ahead to that. But let's do the inside look first. So this color is dark red and it is definitely dark red. It is aptly named and it is gorgeous. It is a deep, rich, just dark red. <laughs> It doesn't really have brown tones in it. It just has beautiful, dark, kind of burgundy red. There is no rooting. And there's really no, like, highlighting or... Uh, it's, it's definitely... You know, it's not really dimensional, but it's very rich and beautiful. So it's not flat and boring, but you don't really see, like, highlights or low lights or anything. It's just a gorgeous dark red color. So again, I will get outside so that you can see this color outside. Okay, let's talk about Wendy. I think I'm just going to get the warnings out of the way right now. My biggest warning about Wendy is the cap is humongous. This is the first average size cap 
that I cannot wear comfortably because it is way too big for me. Here are the issues that I'm having with it. Number one, the ear tabs go, the, just the cap in general, and the ear tabs go so low that they go over my ears. I cannot comfortably situate the ear tabs without them covering my ear and without the cap covering the top of my ear. It, when I tuck it behind my ear, I can't really situate that cap fully on my head, which then in turn means I cannot get this lace to lay flat. So it puckers over here because it just does not fit my head well. Does the same over here. And I don't honestly know if that is solely a lace option or a lace problem, I guess, not really an option. I don't know if that is solely a, a lace problem due to the cap not fitting me because this lace is cut a little odd and I'll show that to you when I take the cap off. But if you have a petite head or an average petite head, this is gonna be humongous on you, truly humongous on you. And it's gonna be hard for you to wear. Now, there are some things you can do to make caps smaller, but Let's now move on to why I think if you are a petite person, this will be a challenge for you. First of all, uh, Wendy has no permatease. This is super flat to the head. It, well, no, I'll take that back. Wendy has quite a bit of permatease, but not where you would typically expect to find it. So there is no permatease up here whatsoever. It is flat. It is flattering. It really works if you're not looking for lift. If you're looking for volume and lift at this part of the hair, there's no permatease there, you're not getting it. Where there's quite a bit of permatease though, it's on the back here. It's all about mid head and down. There's a lot, a lot of pillowy permatease right in the back. And what that does is it gives it volume uh, and kind of beefs up the hair down here so it feels really voluminous toward the bottom. So there is a lot of permatease on the lower part of the cap. At first, it seemed like this was a low density wig because there's not a lot of density up here, but there's a lot of density down below. So what it seems like they did, in my opinion, is they kept all of this up here lower density and then they amped up the permatease and the density about halfway down. So it's very full down here. Um, I'm not sure why they did that. I think it does make her very luxurious and just feel like it's so thick and full on the bottom. But in my opinion, it also feels a little lopsided because of that. Let's look at the front and the top. So I'm actually going to pause this and lift up the camera so I can give you guys a better look. Okay, so I, I'm getting closer so that you can see this part of the wig. So first of all, Wendy has bangs. So we've got these... Uh, they're, they're, you know, a little bit too long to be full bangs on me, but I think for some people with a longer forehead, these could be, and they can also be trimmed to be full bangs. They're very sparse though. The hair in the front is such light density. All of this up here is such light density. It just feels lopsided is all I can say. I mean, it's 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 super cute. And if you are looking for a, a wig that's just full and voluminous and super, super long, but you don't want a lot of hair up around your kind of head, this is that. I mean, it definitely has that. It has a mono part and a lace front. And the mono part is actually slightly off center. Um, Okay, I'm just going to take it off and try to determine because the part is also sort of weird. It's like a center part, but slightly off center to the right. So let's look at that. So here's the cap. There's the part. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not technically dead center. It's like off center a little bit to the right. So um, mono part wigs are often left parts going to the right. That's the most typical that you see. This one is sort of off center to the right. And so that's what that looks like. And then you've got this lace front. The lace is a little dark and a little thick. 
it's really and a little scratchy it's a little bit of a different kind of lace than I am typically used to finding on wigs the rest of the cap is just basic wefted uh, the ear tabs are the soft kind but they have tons and tons of hair sewn into them the nape is extended it has bra strap adjusters you can see that I've pulled the adjusters in a little bit um, it's not really helping because it isn't just the size of the cap around the circumference of my head that's the issue it's the size of the cap in general this cap is very generously sized so um, it's really a better fit for someone who's got pretty big measurements over the top of their head mine are pretty petite but if you find that you're large over the top of your head in your measurements this may give you a lot of really good coverage and you might not be dealing with the same issue that I'm dealing with in um, it fitting me well and covering my ears the the curls it's gonna be just easier for me to talk about this part off my head the curls and waves are to die for they are stunning they're so beautiful and voluminous and luxurious and they start about midway down and uh, if you're curious stick around to the end of the video so you can see the out of the box that I did the curls were very, very formed. This is from combing out. I combed this entire wig out multiple times, so it softened up the, the curls and made them so pretty. It was so like stringy curled in the beginning. It looked like you just took a curling iron and curled it and then did nothing. So the combing out really helped. Uh, she does tangle a lot and with a length like this that's just gonna happen I think long wigs do have tangling issues but this one is just you know a, a extra special when it comes to that because it's so long now please keep in mind I am reviewing a wig that I personally wouldn't wear because I don't wear even wigs that go past my shoulder very often so I'm trying to give you good information I'm trying to warn you on things that are you know just objective observations cap size but it is also something where you know I'm not gonna rave about it because it's not something that I would wear but I do think there's a market for this I think there are a lot of women out there who uh, for events uh, things like that would love to have a wig with this length I think if you can get the cap to fit your head you could do a lot of really fun updos and super fancy low ponies with the length of this wig and the curls you can definitely do some awesome things I uh, personally am not going to show any styling with this one because it's too hard for me I would never be able to do it on my head and I'm not a fancy styling kind of person and so even putting it on a mannequin head to do the styling I wouldn't do it justice but if you can style I think you could go to town with this one and really do a good job of styling of um, you know putting it into some fancy little clips and then leaving some of this beautiful curl pattern hanging down I think that you would have a lot of fun with that my overall impression of Wendy is that this is uh, definitely more of a niche piece for a market that would be looking for something super, super long. I do want to make sure you're aware of the low density on the top, the high density from midpoint down. And then, you know, looking at the lace front, and let me try to, I'm going to shift a light over here so that you can kind of see that. So there's the lace front. And like I said, it's a little bit of a, a different colored lace. It's very obvious on me, as you can see. So this would be a lace that I would just trim. I've got a Tip Tuesday video where I show how you can cut the lace back. I would just cut that, and that would, that would help tremendously. And then, of course, you know, dealing with whether or not the cap fits you should resolve the fact that this will not lay flat. Although when I pull it tight, it still seems to want to be obvious right there so you would to deal with that you would just make sure not to pull the front up past a little bit before that transition line and then you should be fine okay just wanted to rearrange that light all right so this has been Wendy I have it out of the box for you so you can see it out of the box and I will get outside right now so you can see this beautiful color dark red outside all right, we're outside so you can see dark red outside. What a great, great color for fall. 
Let's get into some sunlight here. Like I said, no rooting, no real highlights, just beautiful, deep burgundy red. So even if Wendy isn't the wig for you because of its length, you can definitely consider this color in lots of other pieces. I think you would enjoy it very much if you like deep, dark reds. I think this color is beautiful. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you saw what you needed to see. Talk to you soon. All right, we are here to do the out of the box for Wendy. Wendy just arrived and I just took her out of the box, took the tag off. This, holy smokes you guys, look at the length of this and this color. I don't have all of my lighting uh, on right now, but I have some pretty darn bright, uh, kind of cool lighting in my bathroom here. This color is insane. Beautiful red color. These clearly need to be combed out. I can see that already. So let's put her on and see what we got. Okay. I'm as high up on my tippy toes as I can get to try to let you guys see this. All right. So you can see that the curls definitely need to be combed out. This is an example of a wig where you would comb those curls out. Can I find my comb? There it is. And there's a little bit of smushing going on up here. And these bangs, I'm gonna have to figure them out. They're very sparse like extremely sparse. So it'll be interesting to work with those. There is like zero permatease on this one, like nothing. So that's going to be the challenge. There's no permatease to give it any lift at all. It's very low hair density as well. And we've got the crisscross part. So, you know, we've got to, what, what we have to do, and again, if you're not going to keep the wig, then you're going to have to really refrain from doing anything, is you're going to have to decide, you know, is the length what you're looking for? Do you like the curls in general? I, I would imagine that these will comb out really, become really soft and loose. Uh, they're not super tight, so I can't imagine that they'll get frizzy. And then this whole top section, It'll, it's going to be interesting to figure out how, let me put it back on, kind of how, how we get this part to look good. Now, she does have a lace front, so, you know, if, if the bangs are just too sparse, we can certainly uh, work on getting that, that front lifted. So let me just start. with trying to figure this part out here. Cause just getting the front to lay differently is gonna be half the battle. It's kind of a slightly off center part. It's not, sometimes, you know, the challenge when you get a wig with a crisscross part is figuring out how, how it wants to part. Yeah, look at this. So it's, almost a center part, practically a center part. So we've got sort of an, a slightly off center part. You know, there's a decent amount of parting space here. So you can kind of work within that to get some part. All I'm doing is trying to get the fibers to kind of go one way or the other because they keep wanting to crisscross. So that just may take a little bit of time and effort on my part. Let me put it back on. I 
I don't have a ton of Envy wigs, so I'm trying to figure out how this fits me. It's really, really weird. I'm going to have to talk about this fit in the main part of the video. All right, so just taking a comb and working through, I have to comb through the whole thing, but my kind of my main challenge right now is what to do with the front and sort of how to get this to lay in a way that I, that works for me. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on and we'll see what we got. So this was what I had to deal with out of the box. And you have seen the rest of the video, so now you know. Thanks for watching.